at Flying Colors Communications Academy, what do we do on Fridays? Listening test. I decided to review our last verse concerning our ability of listening. In today's episode of Sahul with Tutor, I'm Abdul Baki Hassan, your communication and diction coach and the least tutor at Flying Colors Communications Academy. Allah said in Quran 67 verse 23, he, Allah, is the one who created you and made for you your sense of hearing, sight, and reasoning. You thank him but a little. The speaking and listening process is more complicated than we think. Over seven steps take place before communication comes to fruition. This verse confirms the complications. Today's discussion is a bit technical because this is a topic in advanced linguistics, what linguists study in acoustic phonetics. I want you to listen in throat and even watch this video two times if you're not a science or language student. In order to make this more relatable, I will try to break the concept and use the word father as our example. The word father has four sounds in British English. Before you hear my presentation, the linguistic elements are first of all chosen by the brain. The brain has to help choose each sound that makes the word father, for example. It has to choose th, uh, and the shua sound. After the sounds have been chosen by the brain, the brain begins to send signals to the speech organs that are needed in the production of the desired sounds. In the example of the word father, for instance, the brain has to send signals to the lower lip and upper teeth to make the pronunciation of possible and so on. Once these speech organs receive the signals, they change into the position required for the production of the needed sound. This birth, the flow of air in and out through the vocal cords and subsequently the sound waves are propagated. It is what I say into the air that you hear. Now, how do you hear and correctly interpret the content of the sound waves? Simply, the sound waves stimulate the listener's tympanic membrane, also called the eardrum, and in turn begin to transmit impulses towards the hearer's brain. Now, the last stage. The hearer identifies the incoming signals as specific speech sounds and decodes the meaning of the sounds involved. Everything happens quickly. The verse in question reminds you that Allah created you and gave you the gift of hearing, sight and just sense of reasoning so as for you to comprehend what you hear and what you see. So why do you think you have nothing? Today's listening test concludes our spelling test on WhatsApp. Remember, we're spelling words that are globally misspelled, and today marks its conclusion. If you're not a participant in the test yet, the only thing you need to do in order to get in is to send your name, occupation, and the word spelling, S-P-E-L-L-I-N-G, to this contact via WhatsApp. This video series, Sahul with Tita, continues tomorrow at 5 a.m. Success at your fingertips.